Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day three of the Leco Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's forum and how are you doing? Hope everything's doing all right. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever it is, right? I uh, hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, today's problem is 581, shortest unsorted continuous subway. That is a very long, well, maybe it's not that long, but it's a very awkward sentence, but let's let's see what it means. One continuous subway that if you sort this a subway in the whole array will be in sorted order. Okay. 10, 9, okay. Oh, so basically, okay. Um, hmm. I was going to say, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, I think the quick, I, I saw the follow up as well. I was going to say, I was going to say that the quick way to do it, actually, I don't know what, what not, uh, I wish I didn't look at the follow up because I think I was thinking about linear way. But when I saw this follow up, I'm like, oh, maybe I was like, what? what is a nonlinear way? And then I know the nonlinear way, which is that you sort the way and then you just do some comparison. Um, and then the question is, can you do better? Uh, can you do this in linear time, right? So, yeah, so the idea behind, let me, uh, I know I, I kind of skipped ahead a little bit because I wanted to do the follow-up. But the, the easy way, I think, is just to, um, I think this is sorted, right? So that means that basically you're trying to find the prefix and the suffix, and it'll be one continuous subarray in the middle. And they're actually only, if you really think about it by, um, one thing that I like to do is what I call case analysis or enumeration, if you want to call it that. And what I mean by that is just going for the cases that you can think of, right? And when you have only one continuous subarray, there are only three cases or something like that, um, but they're all degenerate, right? Meaning that the, the oops, the subarray, hmm. the subarray, let's say, you know, uh, I'm just going to use letters so that it doesn't matter. But the, that means that the, the subarray, your answer subarray, it's going to be either something in the middle or something that goes to the end or something that goes all the way to the front or both, right? Some combination of, maybe I, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's four cases. Maybe I can't count. <laughs> but anyway, you get to my point, right? The point is that you just, it has to be something in the middle, and then whether it has left or right, that's a degenerate case, so, or, um, or I consider a degenerate case. So then another way to phrase that, in my mind, is get the longest prefix that is sorted, and get the longest suffix that's sorted, and then your, your answer is in the middle, right? Um, so that's basically the idea, um, and then we can think whether... Uh, we can and we can do this um, in linear. So yeah, the the n log n way is if you sort and then you just get the prefix. Oops, how did that happen? You get the prefix, you get the suffix, and then you know this is it. That that's that's pretty straightforward in that sense um, to implement, right? Because it's just sort and then two for loops or something like that. Um, but then now we're gonna think about in constant time, right? And then the constant time is basically fine is try to find a property in which this is true, right? I think... I think... I think you can use a stack. I was trying to go through, So what I was thinking right now, to be honest, is just thinking through all the possible cases, right? Um, of how to kind of get get the continuous and, and the way that I would do that is just by going left to right let's say I have this right um, and let's just, let's just focus on prefix for now because the suffix is just you know by symmetry you could like uh, flip it and then do the same algo right so let's say we only have the prefix so then my, my thought process was okay you start with the two okay that's good six you don't know if that's good but that's good for now because this is consistent with a sorted away so then now you have a four well if you this four means that everything that means that this six is no good and this four cannot be good because the four by definition cannot be sorted so then now i have something like this right but then now i'm thinking do i pop these do i compare the eight to the two no so then now i have the four and that means that well okay this is a, a bad example maybe 
Um, because now it means that everything to the right of that is no good, right? So only the two is the prefix. But let's say we have something a little bit better, right? Let's say we have um, or, or different. Mm, let's say we have two, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then five or uh, five, right? Or uh, seven, say. Wait, what does this mean? Well, this means that the seven, because this is no good, you have to pop, 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 right? And of course, you get rid of the seven. So is that is that good? Well, that could be good, but it doesn't. It's not the only way, right? Because the next number could be say a five or a four, right? Then now the five will have to pop off the six. But I think that still holds that if we use a stack, you just keep on popping as necessary, and I think that should be good. Um, and then maybe there's some case about if it's already sorted, but. I think that should be good, but I don't know for sure, to be honest, because these proofs are always a little bit tricky. Um, no, I think that should be good. So, yeah, uh, because of what we said, because of this properly, um, it'll be... At least that would be good if what we said about the prefix and the suffix is good. So let's give it a try. Um, let, let's get rid of the beginning first, right? Uh, for x in nums, if... Uh, so while length of stack is greater than one, uh, if okay, well, there there is one. Um, how do I want to think about this? Basically, you have to find the first case and then start creating the pop, right? So. Um, So let's say, um, mm, let's just say done is you go to, done is not quite the right way of name, but, and then we go if, x is less than the last number on the stack, then done is equal to true, right? And of course, length of stack is greater than zero. Um, yeah. I forgot to write the word N. Okay. Right? And then now, what does that mean? So, now, um, if done, we do this thing where, where we pop, right? If it's not done, then we append uh, X and then we go, that's it. If it is done, then we do this thing where while stack is equal to 1, we no in this case it's okay to be exactly one right then we if, if this number is smaller than it then we're already going to that next process where uh and stack of negative one is greater than are they unique mm, so if they're the same do we pop i guess we don't so yeah right and Th that should be okay. So here now we, we're going to run. I know that we only have done because we only got the prefix. So let's take a look to see whether, you know, uh, whether that's consistent. So two is the prefix. One, two, three, four is the prefix. One is the prefix. And let's double check the other one that we kind of made up. Um, was it two, uh, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then like eleven and then five, right? In theory, this should only have two as a prefix in the last case. Yep. Okay. So then now we just do if length of stack is equal to length of nums, that means that we're already done, and then we return um, no, we return zero, because that means that this is already sorted. Uh, if this is not sorted, that means that... Oh. Or I guess the other way is if length of stack is equal to zero mm, is that true if there's nothing in the beginning no I, I, I was going to return the thing but then actually you could still keep like the suffix right so so then now we have to do the suffix so then let's do it again mm. well okay so the prefix that we kept is equal to um length of the stack. And now this is maybe where we want to um, do an abstraction, right? Because we can go, uh, 
Geld? Hm, keine. I'm gonna do this in a funky way that that takes extra space, but it'll be cleaner to read. Maybe I don't know if that's true. But yeah, let's just say get prefix uh, of nums, and then here, and then we can return length of stack, and then prefix now is to go to get prefix of nums right. Um, if prefix is equal to the length of nums, then we return zero. Otherwise, we have to get suffix is equal to get prefix. And then here, the tricky part is, is um, you know, converting this. You know, one is to convert it backwards, right? So we have to do something like that. But of course, this is now we want the greater numbers in the end. So we have to do some funky thing like that. Um, yeah, maybe I have to convert this to a list though. But and the list makes it, I mean, we can write another way, right? But yeah, so then now the prefix and the suffix will tell you how many items are good. So then now we return nums uh, minus prefix minus suffix. Um, hopefully this is good. Yeah, so this looks good, even though I know this is a waste of space, but, but, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, mm, you can use a reverse iterator and then and then pass in a, a function. Is that what we want to do? Yeah. The problem is that greater than is not opposite of equal than, right? Or greater than is not the opposite of less than because um because of equal, right? So like you may get like weird off by one time. I think the idea is fine. If you want to rewrite this using functional programming and returning a functor or something like that, um, that's fine. And it it's slightly be better, but we'll see if this is good first. If this gives me the wrong answer, then it doesn't matter whatever, op you know, don't prematurely optimize, right? Why optimize if this is already wrong? But okay, cool. So our ideas were right, and I'm happy about that. We have a 763-day streak. Um, we did this in, of course, linear time and linear space. So you could be, you can, like I said, you can make a tighter linear space on the stack if you don't create a thing, but it makes the code way more complicated um, for sure. Um, but yeah, but this is linear time because all we do is a for loop and push and pop. Um, but the core idea is that we're trying to get the prefix and suffix that it's sorted and this solves itself. I'm curious for how, what I did last year. Did I just do the sorting thing? Or did I do the stack? Oh, I did do the stack last time. Wow, did I copy? Wow. Huh. Okay. I didn't expect this, to be honest. But, and also writing it this way. Uh, yeah, makes it slightly cleaner. But, well, I, I thought I was being clever and unique and different from past Larry. Seems like some things in life are deterministic. I didn't even remember. I, don't, I did not remember this problem at all and I didn't remember the solution but our code is pretty similar so you can say I am still me uh cool uh that's all I have for this one let me know what you think hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to good mental health I'll see you later uh but a quick heads up is just to, for, for, so that I don't remember, forget uh, I'm doing a 36 hour fast so I'm actually very hungry right now I'm about I'm about like 20 hours in, so 20 hour in a 24 hour fast, so I'm kind of hungry. Um, but we'll see how that goes, because I'm just trying to, you know, see if that helps my whatever. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.